Hey, it's Elizabeth Off Grid, and today I'm going to give you an update on what's going on with converting my 2012 Honda Civic into a car camper. So the first thing is, you can see this, I have window coverings now. These are from WeatherTech. They're in the all the windows, the front, the back, and the sides. I just got them. I was originally planning to create my own window covers, but when I priced out fabric, it was going to cost more to just even buy the fabric, much less make them. So I just went ahead and bought them from WeatherTech. They're custom fitted to the car. They're not 100% perfect, but they're really close and I didn't have to make them. So they have one side black, as you can see, and one side is silvery. So the silver is to reflect. The black will be great at night because I can just switch them around just by switching the sides and then flipping them in the front back. They're not perfect. They just kind of stay in by just squishing them in there, but they're done. The second thing I did was get the maintenance on the car done. This car has 95,000 miles and needed the 90,000 service. About every 100,000 miles on a Honda Civic, you have to do a whole bunch of stuff, including the spark plugs, including all the fluids. And then you also need to do the, you know, regular oil change and retain the tires and all that kind of stuff. And then all the inspections of all kinds of belts and things. <laughs> and so that's what I had done. It cost me $1,600. I thought it was a very good investment in this car. And considering how overpriced cars still are now in 2022, it just made sense to put a little bit more money in this car to keep it going so I can keep this car longer, even if I wasn't going to make it into a camper. And since I'm going to make it into a camper, it will add more value for me using it. The next thing I did was I took some more things out of the back of the car in the sense of removing them. So I in order to remove the back seat, but I also removed those like little side panels and I removed the seat belts to the extent they could be removed. Some of them, the top parts of the seat belts that go over like this part here is attached way deep down inside the car in the back. So I didn't disconnect that. I'm just gonna like insulate them so they don't rattle and tie them up somewhere. The next thing I did was working on the noise and the insulation issues because I removed a bunch of stuff. Now that there's a pass through to get through the trunk and now that uh, the back seat and everything is missing, there's a lot of bare metal and also exposure to the trunk. The trunk really doesn't have a lot of insulation, if any, and except for like the little carpet nests, you know, that they covering they have. And the trunk is not meant for protecting noise because they didn't think that it was going to be open up to the main part of the car most of the time. So they didn't put in any kind of noise deadening. So I'm adding noise deadening to as many surfaces as I can. And I'm also adding insulation and I'm using sheep's wool insulation and in which I will talk more in detail about and show you as I go on and adding that in the trunk areas to the extent that I can and then also where the seat was. I've also just done some cleaning, you know, vacuuming out and cleaning things. Not a true detail job, but enough so it's not absolutely disgusting. To do a really good job, I have to take out both front seats and I am not taking out the front seats. Because here's the thing, removing the back seats in a Honda Civic, at least a 2012, is easy. It's just a couple bolts you have to loosen, no big deal. And then like a little tabby thing that you have to deal with. That's it's it. That's just fiddly. It's not like actually technically difficult. Taking out the front seat's a much bigger deal because these are heated seats. Those electrical stuff leading to that, and also these are hooked up to the airbags. So you that my understanding is that you disconnect the battery of the car so the airbags don't go off. But I mean that's like a whole thing, right? So I'm not doing that to just to clean. I may eventually take out the passenger seat so I can have more room in here, but right now I'm using it. I'm driving someone around some of the time, um, my son around, so it doesn't make any sense to do. But in the future, I may decide to go ahead and do that. So the next step, once I finish doing all the sound deadening and insulation work, then it will be actually installing something, actually putting in the, beginning to install the, platform it will be for the bed and just for stuff in the back seat because right now you can't sit on the bare metal that's pokey and terrible once I get that in then I'll probably go ahead and test it take it out for one night put in not even like formal padding that I plan to have just put in a, a pad that I use for backpacking 
and sleep in here and see how it goes. I have a very small battery that I can use for my CPAP. And I actually have slept in here before, but I was just sitting in the passenger seat and it kind of sucked because it was, you know, leaning and I was sliding down all night. But it was definitely possible to do. So once I have a flat surface, seeing how that works, if it's long enough, if it's wide enough, etc., and then I will go from there building the rest of the bed. Thanks a lot for watching. If you have any ideas for working on this car camper, please leave them in the comments below. Hit the thumbs up for the algorithm and subscribe if you'd like to follow along with me as I am changing this Honda Civic into a car camper. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.